Yo, what is going on, you guys? It's Corey or the Comeback Kid here, back at again with another commentary for you guys today. And today, I'm going to be bringing you guys a little commentator's lesson here and my own opinions on how to be a good commentator. So, first, before I get on into that, the gameplay you're watching in the background is a triple nuclear on slumps with a Scar H by my boy Rezzy. If you guys want to see more insane gameplays like this, definitely go check out my boy TapX Rezzy or Rezzy. I'll link some in the description down below. He's a very talented player, has some great Black Ops 2 gameplays on his channel. So, definitely, if you guys want to see more amazing gameplays, Go check him out in the description down below. If you guys also want to follow me on Twitter, keep up to date with me. Make sure you go down to the links down below. Check out Resi and then check out my Twitter and hit that follow button. So anyways, let's get right down to today's commentary. So today, like I said, I'm going to be giving you guys my tips on how to be a solid commentator. And personally, I'm honestly not an amazing commentator, but at the same time, I know what I'm doing. I've been in the scene for quite some time. Been in, I'd say, commentating for about three years now. So clearly, I know what I'm doing and I know what it takes to grow. I've had three channels that have, well, two channels that have reached 1K and one channel that's reached 800. So I know how to constantly keep doing this stuff and how to be able to gain subs fast because on my oldest channel, well, not my oldest channel, on my last channel, the Unseen one, I grew 1K in literally a month and a half. So basically, I know what I'm doing here. I know how to commentate and I know what it takes to grow in the commentating scene. So basically... First things first, you have to be able to be energetic and basically just a smooth person when you speak. You can't be like talking like this and just pausing and just do you can't be doing that stuff. You got to be fluent, got to be energetic, got to be you got to want to commentate kind of thing. You can't just be wanting the subscribers, wanting the views, wanting the likes and not be working for it. You know, you got to put 110% effort into it. So the next thing you got to do is have a high quality mic. Obviously, I don't have the highest of quality mics. As you guys see, I'm use just using a PC headset here. And I actually broke my snowball. So I actually, I'm thinking I'm about to order a new one in literally five minutes once I'm done recording this commentary. 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 So basically, you have to have a high quality mic in order to be able to create high quality content. Then you, obviously, if you don't, you know, record your own gameplays, obviously, you can take gameplays from your friends and that stuff if they allow it. Like, I tell Karezi, he asked, well, I asked him if I could use his gameplays. He said, sure, no problem. I use Swifty's gameplays. That's what I'm going to be doing most likely in Black Ops 3. I'm probably going to buy the game, but obviously I'm not going to be able to record it as in the moment because I don't have an Elgato. I'm going to probably get one once I come back in the summer from school next year since most likely I won't be recording my own Black Ops 3 gameplay at school just for the fact that why would I do that when I'm not going to be having much time? I want to focus on my classes. I'm still going to record commentaries and whatnot. Don't get me wrong on that. I'm planning out videos literally for the longest time. But that's going to be in a different video where I'm going to explain what's going on. That's going to be much more down the road. I'd say a few weeks from now. So then uh, my third tip for you guys is to have creative ideas. you got to be unique. you got to be different from the crowd. Like myself, I do life stories. I do face cam commentaries because it makes me different. I've seen a lot of people lately who I know start to change that up and start doing more face cam commentaries and that stuff i can slowly see the community starting to do that so you know i've been doing more face cam commentaries i started doing it at the end of my last channel and i just carried it over here because it makes me more unique and honestly i don't care if you see my face whatsoever and honestly i think it makes for a better video because it's a better connection with the viewers so personally you got to do something unique you got to be either like a black ops 3 news kind of guy you got to be a life story kind of guy you have to be a serious commentator kind of guy you just have to have great creative topics it's as simple as that you got to be unique to set yourself apart from the other commentators so those are my top three tips if you guys want more tips from myself and more detailed tips and whatnot make sure to comment down below if you guys want more of that or if you have any questions just comment down below i'll reply to it no worries or tweet me whatever's best for you guys anyways hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure to leave a like on this video i'll catch you guys later all right peace